How we doing, guys? Ryo is here yet again for day four of the Friday the 13th week on my uh, Ryo Magnifico channel. And uh, today um, we are talking about the um, the last movie in the series of Friday the 13th, the final chapter, part four, um, which came out in 1984, um, directed by Joe Zito, um, written by Barney Cohen and I think Bruce Sackow. Uh, it's like Bruce Sackow wrote the story, I guess, and then Barney Cohen, I don't know how that works, but anyway, that's some of the writers on it. Um, uh, Harry Manfredini's back with the score, again, doing an amazing job. Not credited in his name was Jason for some reason, don't know why. Um, and uh, produced again by Frank Mancuso Jr., um, starring Kimberly Beck, Eric Anderson, Corey Feldman, um, Crispin Glover, and um, I don't know, we'd go on forever there, and Ted White um, plays Jason in this movie. Um, but yeah, this was like the last um, in the, f I guess, I don't know what to call it. I, don't, I always call it like the original Jason or the, the you know, Human Jason series, um, even though he should have been dead at the end of part two, should have been dead at the end of part three, and he's still back. It's before the zombie Jason, I guess. It's like the real live Jason in a sense. Um, and um, yeah, this one, they, you know, they had, I guess for all intents and purposes, they had decided that they were going to kill him. They were going to kill Jason finally off. And it was under those auspices that they actually got Tom Savini back, who did the special effects in the first one, back for this one. So he was like, you know, you know, I, I made him in part one. I want to kill him in part four. So the idea here is that all, you know, all, uh, no holds barred, um, and let's let loose, and let's take it to the extreme and kill Jason. So, um, yeah, the film is, uh, it's, it's really, I mean, it's a lot of people's favorite, I think, and with good reason, because it has really inventive and really well played out kills. Um, Jason is, I find Jason in this, like Ted White, everyone goes on about how he's got this saunter in it. I find him very much like Richard Brookers. I find him sort of laid back. He does move fast at the end. Um, but I found him very similar, especially in look, too. Like, Although his face looks different because they really sort of harken back to the part one, Jason. They really did a good job, like Tom Sweeney's guys, of making that face look older. Um, I find a lot of similarities between this guy and part three's Jason, so I think that's why I always really enjoyed this one. Um, but, um, yeah... Um, of course, it's always famous for having Corey Feldman in it before, like, pre-Goonies and stuff like that. Um, uh, and, of course, for the scene at the end with his character Tommy taking out Jason, that, that fucking, that is gruesome, man. Like, I love, I love the mind of Tom Savini thinking of that, putting the machete in this way and sliding it down. And, like, it's just so brutal. His eyes going, his tongue's going, and ugh, that's just, it's, it gets you every time. Remember, the first time you see that, man, it's just as shocking as the end of Friday the 13th when they take the head off of Mrs. Voorhees. It is for, it is some scary crap, man, when that, that happens, and it's like, oh, you're, you're sitting there cringing in your seat the first time you see it. Um, but yeah, like I said, um, you know, it's, it follows the same basic formula. A um, bunch of kids go out into an isolated area where they can't really fend for themselves, and Jason comes along to take them out. Um, it has some cool little nods to the other ones, like um, Eric Anderson's character um, is the brother of a character in Part 2 um, who was killed, and he's sort of looking for... Um, and I think they played that out in the remake. I think in the remake, um, Jared Padalecki's character is doing the same thing. Like, he's out looking for his sister. So it's sort of like Eric Anderson's character, so he's out doing that. And he meets up with a bunch of kids um, out partying for the weekend. I think that's why Part 4, I think this one, the new remake, is going to be a lot like Part 4, story-wise, and have nods to the other ones. Like, it might have a little bit of sort of an origin, why he's the way he is with, his, with the backstory of his mother. And then, you know, Sackhead Jason, like in part two, getting the mask, like in part three. And then most of the movie's going to play out like this one, where you're going to have Jason balls out just killing everybody. I think that's why I'm excited about part, the remake. I can't help it. Like, I, I actually think that they can't screw it up. But this isn't a review of the remake. This is just part four. Um, but yeah, um, the, the same atmosphere from the first couple of movies is there. Um, this sort of dark, scary woods. Um, they even do it up with, like, a lightning storm and stuff like that. Um, and th whatever it is about those first four, and f I still think the fifth one has the same feel too. Whatever it is about the first four films and five as well, um, there's just a different feel to them. I think it's because in six, um, Tom McLaughlin sort of, you know, changed everything with his zombie Jason and his 
you know, crazy aspects. But um, this this film also brings a lot more humor into it. Um, although they had the potheads in the last one, they weren't really all that funny. Um, part two, they have Stu Charno and a couple of things. But this one really brings in brings in Crispin Glover and Teddy, and they are a hilarious combination. Crispin Glover is just out of his mind. The whole dance sequence uh, when he's dancing with one of the twins. Um, the whole dead fuck thing and the computer, like... <laughs> The two of them just, they play off each other really well. So it brings, it really brings, it starts bringing the humor into it. Because at this point, they had to make some jokes. You, ha you can't keep making these movies and thinking all serious, all business. Um, after a while, you sort of had to lean on, you know, it's been done a thousand times before, it's going to be done a thousand times after. Um, and just have some fun with it. So it's got some creepy aspects. Um, it's got a great ending. It's got nods to the original films. It's got... Um, some funny stuff. It's it's really the total package. I, even though I always like three more, part four I think is really the total package. Even though part five is definitely a better slasher film, you know, there's just some really great stuff in part four. Um, so that's why you know you got to see this one again um, before you go see the remake. You got to go see the roots of these films. You got to go see Jason really on a rampage, um, uh, like he is in this film because he really is on a rampage in this film, man. He's he's balls out in this movie chasing people and hunting them down and just malicious some of the stuff he does is just malicious this is what he starts doing things like placing the bodies too like in part two you find the bodies placed at the end part three there's some of that too but in this one he really like <laughs> he um you know he really uh i mean there's that scene where he puts crispin glover up on the wall and he nails him there and they come through the door and then he comes through and tears him down he really starts fucking with people in this movie and um that's uh, that sort of harkens back to part two where he's got that sort of trapper-esque thing like you know when he gets um, well, I can't remember the character's name uh, it's going to drive me nuts but he's always after um, I think her name's Terry I can't remember for some reason it's blanking, blanking right now but he traps him in the rope trap kind of thing and uh, um, that they sort of play on some of that in this one and I think it's something that you're going to see a lot of in the remake they've talked about him being a trapper in the woods and Sort of giving him a little more background as a character, which I'm not too into. But they're the way they talk about it. They're saying they're not going to do a whole lot of that. They're going to touch on it and move on. But they're that's going to be their Jason, this sort of guy in the woods. And um, I guess that's why I'm looking forward to it. But anyway, yeah, this is I guess as far as the remake goes, this is sort of the last one that you're going to see this this genesis of Jason, this guy that just sort of uh, he's a mountain man kind of thing and becomes this sort of real evil and that's what you see in the first well in parts two three and four and you started off of course with part one with the whole massacre that his mother portrays over many years and yeah this is quintessentially friday the 13th and what's going to you're going to see in the remake of friday the 13th coming out this friday tomorrow and um yeah i'm hoping like i said guys that i, I know i'm going to see it tomorrow um and time you know time willing i'm going to do a little review of it afterwards i'll post it up so you just guys get my thoughts my i won't say it's like totally review because i don't want to say that because i i've watched these movies so many times i'm going to have seen this once so i don't want to make like any speculation as to what i really think about it until i see it a few times but i'll give you my thoughts on it like i did with my bloody valentine 3d um and all i can do is tell you that i hope it's good um i hope i hope that because i just can't see like with this with this movie they, they've got they don't have if they don't dwell on his origin and they just put him in his element and do his thing, that's all they need. So I really hope that, um, you know, that the fact that it's all beautiful CW actors and that it's going to look like somebody wiped their ass with the film um, stock, uh, I'm hoping that I get past that and just get into it and really enjoy it. So, yeah, um, this is the end of these four reviews. Um, there's another Friday the 13th coming up, I think, next month. Um, so maybe I'll do the rest of them then or something like that um maybe some other surprises but for now um i will see you guys later and uh i'll talk to you tomorrow after we see the remake i hope we all get to enjoy it and uh yeah peace guys